So you probably know what I am painting already if I haven't posted on the title of the video some hints. Um, if you have watched the movie Ever After with Drew Barrymore, it's a classic, probably late 90s movie. And I grew up watching it many times with my sister. I remember my sister loved my sister. My sister loved this movie very much. And um, I recently thought I really want to paint it. I think unconsciously, but now that I think about it, it's probably very consciously. <laughs> I one of the artists that I follow, um, I've been following her for a long time. Her name is um, Audra Eclair. And she did a, also a painting of this scene, and I thought, oh, that is beautiful. So I kind of copied her idea, not kind of, but I did copy her idea. But I thought, oh my gosh, that is such a lovely scene. So I wanted to recreate it, but in oil painting, she painted it in gouache, and it was absolutely stunning. So I wanted to make my own version. And I also had this um, canvas that I bought at the store, it was a relatively cheap canvas and I wanted to get um, use of it and also because I had the perfect frame for it so I thought oh this is going to look amazing so um, I wanted to paint it and um, I think it's because well the canvas wasn't the best let's be honest and it was sort of um, not absorbing any paint at all I had to work a little bit harder than usual and also the perspective i struggled a lot with it like a lot a lot and um i started already twice this and then i just decided to kind of give up a little bit yeah <laughs> so we just kept painting and painting and then uh, at some point I, I thought what no um so i'm just going to show you what i painted and uh, <laughs> how I, I tried to save it and then i ended up just moving to another one I, th I probably say this also on my last video, but not everything that I paint is, is it looks great or it has a powerful brush stroke and um, something that I did this time uh, was stepping out of the painting and looking at my, I guess, my inspiration and the painters that I look up to and I am completely obsessed with Sargent, like I am like I'm obsessed. <laughs> I've I've bought I don't know way too many books and they are so expensive, but I just I love them. But I've been even reading about his story and, and just trying to get a glance of, of the um, his process and the way he paints. So while I was painting this, I was thinking also on the way he paints. Um, but it's tricky because there's just not a lot of. Um, of knowledge on his process. Um, there are some sketches here and there and I love finding those. It's absolutely beautiful. So even if this one didn't work out the way I wanted to, I was still very proud of how it turned out, um, of me trying and also struggling. I, am, I think I became way better at enjoying every step of the process even if it's not going uh, amazingly. This is when I feel like things went a little bit downhill <laughs> and I started messing with her face way too much. I don't know why I was getting ah, so much like tunnel vision. Um, but anyways, before I started messing with her face so much, I want to say thank you to Skillshare, which is today's sponsor. Thank you so, so much. So for today's class, I wanted to find something that is, I guess, a little bit closer to what I do. I was looking for something um, of plain air. Uh, I've been messing with my potion box for quite a while now and I found this lovely class that she um, is introducing us to a uh, plain air in oil painting, which I thought it was wonderful because I don't do watercolors, <laughs> I'm terrible at it. And this is a class by Rachel Broadwell. And she actually has my same potion box, uh, which I think is wonderful because I can see how she uses it. She explains it very easily. I think it's very nice to follow along, um, especially if you are a beginner or if you have the curiosity and you want to try to get outside, even though I know it's kind of endearing and scary, but 
I highly highly recommend it um, I think her class was wonderful so I'm going to leave the link as always in my description box and the first thousand uh, people that click on it you will get a one month of free um, premium membership and, uh, I hope you enjoy it and that you find a class that you like because they have really a lot to choose from I hate it I was so so mad that I had to put it down and I put it next to the frame that I was hoping I could frame it uh, in and to see if maybe I can find some inspiration but in the meantime I decided to start a new one I thought you know what I am not giving up I'm going to try again and I have this other um, canvas that I that I did I think it was the first canvas that I tried doing and I've been saving it for something special but I uh, I can see that that will never come so I thought I'm going to use it for this Ado. Breathe. Just breathe. It is my great privilege. 